All right, so there's a bill I want you to keep your eye on. It's called the ATF Transparency Act. So essentially what this is, is accountability for the ATF, which I think is long overdue. The Weaver family holed up in their Northern Idaho cabin felt like they were being picked off one by one. We couldn't see who it was that was doing the shooting. Three dead. Two wounded. 11 horrific days. 911, what's your emergency? There's 75 men around our building and they're shooting at us in Mount Carmel. Tell them there are children and women in here and to call it off. I hear gunfire. Oh, shit. Well, uh, Bonnie, for the last 15 minutes, we've watched this M60 vehicle, this uh, combat engineering vehicle, uh, make large holes in the side of this building and pump uh, tear gas in there. Uh, and uh, at times, as you well know, tear gas can be incendiary, and apparently this is what's happened. Um, and it looks like now we have a very large-scale fire breaking out on what must be the south side. Yes, before you say it, all gun laws are an infringement. I understand that. The Second Amendment is very clear and it should be followed as written, shall not be infringed because this is a document from the people to the government telling them what laws they're allowed to make around guns, not a document from the government to the people telling them what guns they can have. However, baby steps. I think the first one is accountability. For example, in 2020, look at how many people got arrested for gun charges alone. This amount of Americans, which I'm not looking at the numbers, but I believe it's like 30-something, every single day in 2020, victimless crimes. There is no gun crime whatsoever that is on the books that is not already on the books as another individual crime. What I'm specifically talking about is victimless crimes, like your barrel's too long, your barrel's too short, you have the wrong vertical grip on it, something like that, like stuff that has no consequences at all, to anyone or anything, nobody's hurting anything, it's just because your gun is configured in a way they decided is not legal, now you're spending 10 years in prison in a quarter of a million dollar fine because you failed to pay a $200 tax stamp. Now you might be like, well, what about 1968 because you can't have machine guns after that? Well, it's just a $500 SOT thing. There's no classes, there's no nothing. You just send a check off for 500 bucks and you buy your Second Amendment right, which is ridiculous. But again, baby steps. The first thing we need to do is make them held accountable. For example, let's pretend that they were like, hey, this is my hypothetical bump stock. Hey, this accessory has no mechanical parts, nothing at all, can go on a firearm, does no mechanical action, is now a machine gun. What if they had to bring that in front of a board and then the board looks at the law as written and they're like, well, that doesn't meet the definition of a machine gun. That sort of accountability is what we need, just to check them, put them in their place, get rid of this uh, lawmaking fiat, because they, they can't make laws. But what they do is they make a rule because a rule is not a law, so therefore a rule doesn't need to go through Congress but they'll take these crazy interpretations of a rule that's a rule of a rule that they already made of a law that's in existence and they essentially make a new law. It's punishable by prison time in massive fines. So just because they call it a rule doesn't mean it's a rule. It's a new law. So for example, this is my hypothetical pistol brace. Totally legal. A pistol, totally legal. If I take this accessory and put it on a pistol, right now the ATF is saying that that remakes the firearm as a short barrel rifle. It's arguable whether it does or does not, but that's not the point. The point is, because they declared that as a, I guess you'd call it an SBR conversion device, they essentially made a law saying that pistol braces are SBR conversion devices. Because where in the NFA, point to any spot where it says, Putting a brace, not a stock, a brace on a pistol converts it into a short barrel rifle. It's still a pistol with a pistol brace. It's not a short barrel rifle. So they made a law saying that pistol braces are short barrel rifle conversion devices. I know, it kind of gives you a headache. 
Or another great example, after I'm acquitted of all charges, it would be really nice if the people that indicted me went in front of a board and tried to explain to them why they indicted me. Especially when it says right in the discovery, they know I'm innocent, but they're indicting me anyway. Yeah, I can sue for damages and I will, but that's not the point. That's only hurting basically the taxpayers of Florida. It, it doesn't fix the problem. Yeah, I'll get my damages, I'll get made whole, but it, th th there's still a much bigger problem here. Why was I indicted in the first place? Who told them to do it? Who authorized it? How did this all go down? That kind of investigation is what I would like to see. Because there's clearly a problem here. <laughs> oh, I don't even, it, it's just irritating. There's clearly a problem here that needs to be addressed. Me suing for damages doesn't address that problem. The problem is in the agency itself. And you gotta remember, if you'd like to help support the channel, you can purchase one of these amazing patches from shoponlytacticalfans.com. The specific one I recommend purchasing right now is the High Alert patch. Let me demonstrate how it works. <sighs> can I touch your leg hair? So basically, this patch will notify you when there is danger nearby, and if it's extreme danger, you'll even put a yellow box around it. This way it's easy to know, like that is danger. Otherwise, if it's just medium danger and it's looking in your general direction, you'll get yellow flashes in your peripheral vision. It just helps you out. Anyway, so I am all about the ATF Transparency Act, the GOA's on board, there's several senators on board. I would love to see this go through. There needs to be accountability. There really does. It's insane there isn't accountability to this point. We're talking about 30-some Americans every single day. There should be a board going over why these people's lives are destroyed, why they're charged with felonies, why they're charged with massive crimes, why their dogs are getting shot, why their front doors are being kicked in, why they're being stalked, surveilled, and detained. In the final report, it was stated that the officer who was at Duncan's window, there's two officers there. One broke the window and um, it was a crash and sweep where they uh, they use a, like a hook to pull the blinds aside. And then the second officer has a clear line of sight. And they stated that he was the shooting officer and that the other SWAT team members couldn't get into the room after Duncan was shot because his body was against the doors. A lot of excuses in there, but all the excuses for the raid are, are really just, there was nothing illegal <laughs> that justified the shooting. Uh, they just tried to make him sound like, in their eyes, a bad guy. And, you know, that's no excuse to go into somebody's house at 4.30 in the morning and shoot someone. What was the date of, uh, of this event? This was March 12th of 2020. There needs to be a board. These are American citizens. And there's no accountability, nothing like that. They're just going in and doing these awful things. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you'd like to help support the channel, again, shoponlytacticalfans.com. Otherwise, if you're not looking for a patch, you can always click on my Amazon affiliate links just by clicking on those particular links, even if you don't purchase what that particular link is for. Just clicking on it and doing the Amazon shopping you were already gonna do anyway. Don't kick back for it because you came there off my channel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.